Hello and welcome everybody. This is your host, Leervok, and you are just in time for more of No Straight Roads. In the last episode, we defeated Eve and got her tragedy and comedy mask, uh, trophy, um, the symbol of her duality. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I think it's a pretty just symbol of her duality, um, the dual nature that is Eve. Um, and got probably the best cutscene in the game. Um, this episode, I'm gonna check out. You need to reapply one of our stickers. We got enough for one more use for them. Uh, let's see. We got new mods. We got two sided Mayday. Puts on a Zook face mask, healing Zook whenever she takes damage. That's not bad actually. I just gotta remember to switch over to Zook a lot. A lot more. Uh, burning hair fashion, Zook dashes a short distance forward with fire in his hair, burning everything in his path. Uh. They mentioned, uh, at some point, uh, Zook, or, uh, Eve set Zook's hair on fire, so I'm not sure why, uh, he still wants to <laughs> do that. Oh well. It's a neat little kind of dash attack. Um, but we're gonna keep his, and I believe we're gonna keep Mayday's missile strike. Uh, but yeah. Look at the strategy room. We'll go to the briefing. Both made it so far. I knew it from the start. I'm proud of what you've done. Bunk Bed Junction has the power to return the rights of Vinyl City's artists to them. Right. Just a bit more to go. Only one more to go, in fact. The last pillar of NSR. Tatiana. Easy peasy. She doesn't even play music. That does seem to be the general impression. But she does, in her own way. Huh? What do you mean? You'll know when you face her head on. Anyway, on to business. Tatiana may seem unbeatable at first glance, but I happen to know her greatest weakness. Her past. If you come across fragments of her memories, I would suggest using them against her. That's the only way you can beat her. Use her own past against her? Yes, yes you get it. You'll do well. It all comes down to this, fellas. Beat Tatiana, and victory is ours. Okay. This is it, cool Fyra. Thought you should know that we are close to bringing down NSR. I wish you were here with us now. I wish you could see that some of us still care about your legacy. <clears throat> I'll be heading out first. See you guys at the NSR tower. Tonight, we're bringing your music back. Long live rock, cool Fyra. Long live rock. Long live rock indeed. But yeah, before we go to fight Tatiana, we're gonna first off, we're gonna level up a bit. Uh, we've unlocked level 4. We've actually had that unlocked for a while, haven't we? Uh, that's not really going to help us out much right now. We get that. And that's all we could afford. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good to know. I like going to Pirate Radio. I wonder if I should do this. Nah, I'll do it now. Back here with us are 
the spectacular duo of Funk Bed Junction. Two who need no further introductions, Mayday and Zook. Hello, Vinyl City. Without further ado, let's have the first caller. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mayday. <gasps> Isn't that... You! Tatiana! Ah, so you recognize my voice. You... You've been listening all this while? But of course. You didn't think I'd miss out on the latest news of my favorite donor, did you? So you've been spying on us? I would say I'm merely keeping up with Vinyl City's hot indie door. But it's good that you've called. Know that we're coming to take you down. It's over for no straight roads. How optimistic <laughs> of you to say so. You've barely reached the NSR Tower. However, thank you for the heads up. I'll be waiting. And that was Tatiana, folks. Looks like we're canceled now. Considering your next showdown to be with Tatiana, how do you feel about making it so far? Any regrets? It's certainly been a long journey, and I'm only pumped to finish this off properly. We're gonna rock onwards with all that we've got. No looking back. What's done is done. We can only make a difference by our next actions. Yep. We definitely look forward to that. Since you'll be battling the big boss herself, in the case that, touch wood, you don't make it out, uh, is there anything you'd like to say to your fans? I certainly hope we'd make it out with a blast, but I'd like to thank everyone for being with us so far. It's been great to know that we're not alone in our battle. We love you! And remember, music is your right. Even if we're, uh, uh no longer around, your right is still yours. Don't let it be taken without a fight. Well said. And it saddens me to say that it seems like time's up for today. All the best, Bunk Bed Junction. We certainly hope to have you back at Sam FM to BAM and Sam <coughs> in the future. Excuse me. Don't worry, we'll be back. Would definitely be nice to be back. <laughs> Definitely nice to be back. We're getting quite a, quite a bit of fans now. Fan power. We got a new combo finisher sticker. Oh, can we? F nope. Okay, so that just means these are going to the Metro District, so we can put in. Eve's di uh, platinum disc and unlock her district. So yeah, NSR, No Straight Roads, the name of the game, that's the bad guys, that's the people we're fighting, it all links together. There's multiple meanings to No Straight Roads, obviously, being like there's No Straight Roads at the end and all that stuff. I'm gonna face the big boss yourself, Tatiana. Okay, there we go. A little confused on where to go there, because it's kind of. put me right at the end, edge of the district. And the final district, Dream Fever District, is now ours. I've waited so long for this day to come. Thank you, fellas, from the bottom of my heart. Feel free to explore the new district as the architect here is simply a sight to behold. We know that the biggest fight is still upon us when we already head to the NSR Tower. Okay, and I think we're going to do just that. We're going to observe Jewel Eye Fountain. I didn't notice it before, but the city's water pumps are all disguised as art pieces. Looks artsy, I guess. The non-symmetrical motif has always been a large part of our identity. It's nice to have caused quite a bit of, to build. 
He's helping to divert water from the city. Well, I gotta turn my... I turn my volume down a little bit. <laughs> um... Let's see, sort of this. this is the Dream Residence. This is probably like where people live in her district. I've noticed... These ore frames vanish, but the walls do not. Is this all? This is all just one big giant art piece, isn't it? That's really all this building is. It's just one one big art piece. No one actually lives here. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's a it's a trick of the game engine. They have things fade away at in the off to the sides, so it's kind of like help. Well, one uh, it helps unload things. It's I think it's called phasing. Is that what it's called? No, it's derezzing. Uh, where things in the back behind the camera will derez. Um, it's a, it kind of helps. It's supposed to help uh, with uh, optimal. It's supposed to help with uh, game speed and decre uh, decreasing load on, on games. Um, it's why if you look at some games, you'll see like this really dense fog, especially with older games like PlayStation and N64 games. You'll see like a fog around everything. Um, that's actually uh, the whole reason why Silent Hill has fog in it to begin with is because it was a limitation of the game, the game system, the system at the time, and uh, the creator of Silent Hill was like, oh well, why not? This is uh let's just write that limitation into the gameplay and he created a horror game out of it. Which is why all the later versions of the game are completely ruined because, why the remake of the game is completely ruined because they decided, hey, it'd be a better idea to remove that fog and thus remove that, that, uh, that mystery and intrigue. Um, but anyway, I gave her an Alluvian rabbit's foot once. It was just before her first live performance. I guess she's still angry about it. How the? Do rabbits really get this big? Rabbits is an island of the West had gigantic animals, but rabbits? Oh wait, this is just another weird art piece from Eve. Right. It does seem like there's a third floor to this, but we can't get to it right now. Um, can we? Nope, just out of range. And of course, we can't go up there. Can't go up there either. I believe there's a spot we can actually go over the roof of. Probably on the other side, I think. Must be on the other side. Oh, I see you. Ah! Don't run over it. Get this. Go over here to get this. Uh. Didn't we get that already? Oh, that's all three one anyway, so we can't do anything with that. What else do we have here? Who got some field of selfie sticks? Uh, I don't get it. It really just looks like a junk pile to me. Maybe that's the point? It means something random? Or maybe I just should, I should just stick to the guitar. I mean, you're not wrong on that point. It's to give meaning something random. At least in this case it is. This is how she perceives herself. She was always particular about how the world perceives itself. Sorry, just gave her the means to explore that with her fans. I like seeing like the different perspective from both these characters. Like they're very different, like very different individuals. Jeweled hand clock. The wristwatch on this art piece is supposed to symbolize the duality of people watching her and how she becomes less bothered about the way people look at her at five minutes on. 
Okay, this one is a large hand, gemstones, and a watch. So it symbolizes that gems and watches are something that uh, go well together with the hand because they make you look sparkly and I think I just really don't understand her art. And it, it's perfectly okay if you don't understand it. This stuff is made by people who, for some reason, expect you to understand them. I've seen some people who, like, it's weird how some people just expect you to understand them, even though they have no reason for you to understand, like, they've given no details or anything. Like, I've seen that with, like, YouTubers, for example. It gets pretty bad sometimes, it's like, no, no one has your experience, so of course no one understands you. Not in, the, not in the way that you expect. You have to be. You have to tell people this stuff. You can't expect them to suddenly un, somehow know it. Doll Eye Totem. This is so uncomfortable to watch. I feel like they're following me no matter where I go. Did one just. Did one just wink at me? Laddie's celebrated for her self expression now. I guess some part was the one to repay the stare she received back then. This is part of why she's really into eye motifs. Eye, hands, feet. She's into it all. <laughs> see, a, I've seen a lot of people make jokes about feet with her. Because, well, she, tits, she attacks you with feet. I mean, it's... it's you gotta think, you gotta think the obvious jokes here in this situation. You know, people who want to be stomped on and stuff like that. There are some little trees over here. Wow, okay. One just uh, it's gotta do some grinding after this. Actually, did we miss some uh, stuff we can interact with in here? In the gallery? No? Okay. Ugh. See anything up here? No. No. You already saw the hand, right? The symbol of her lowest point in life, and how Eve felt helpless no matter what she did. I guess she still can't let go. It's my turn, Python. It's not so much a field as it is just one. Hmm. It's supposed to be symbolic of how gravity Eve is. This is way too abstract for me to understand. And again, like it makes sense that you could get like multiple interpretations of her of her work. I mean, you can get multiple interpretations of any work. Really, it's not like. It's not that uncommon of a thing for people to like, like, misinterpret things. Heck, we see, I've seen this with with shows and games and stories that just have like very simple. What like this is clearly the message. It's clearly what it's telling you. And for whatever reason, be, like some people just do not get that message. I mean, this goes so far over their head. It's unbelievable. Like. No, no, it tells you in the sh it even tells you in the show what it means. Like, I don't care if your if your explanation is technically better, you can't sit around telling this, telling people that this is what the actual show means. When the show clearly tells you otherwise, and it's very supposed, and it's clearly supposed to be another way. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen some people make just weird leaps and bounds with just like one piece of data that is immediately contradicted by literally everything else around it. Q game Q game theory rant here, I don't know. More like a bunch of misguided tunes. Look, I have the, I don't have the ability to hate Matt Pat or the stuff he does. I actually enjoy his content, even if sometimes he hasn't put the fullest at fullest amount of work into it. Um, and a lot of his arguments could be Deconstructed, which is why I don't like his lore videos. I like the ones that actually talk about more about science and stuff. Um, but yeah. So I think this is good enough time to end the episode off 
here. So in the next episode, we will be fighting Eve again, this time with the Christmas DLC. Until then, I will see you guys later.